Welcome to the Topeka Feud on GabLocal.tv. We have a great lineup for you today, of not only of guests, but we've got a great question for you that's going to be popping up, and a chance for one of these folks right here to win fabulous prizes. We have the team captain of Team Smarty Arty Puppies over here. <laughs> If you really watch the show, you'll understand what that's all about here uh, for this team. We have the mayor of Topeka, Michelle De La Isla. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. You all ready to, to stick it to these guys over here? <laughs> <laughs> and then on this team, uh, we have Bruce Zimmerman. He is uh, with the Evil Knievel Museum, and he is going to be... Uh, uh, leading up Team Topeka Daredevils over here. Are you ready to do this? Absolutely. We've got a daring group ready to go. Absolutely. <laughs> and one of, one of them's arms. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> They're thinking about the support. <laughs> All right. You guys ready to do this? Okay. We surveyed 100 people and asked them, name an occupation whose members get wet while working. Michelle? Lifeguards. What is a good answer? Good answer. Good answer. There we go. Good answer. All right, let's see. Show us lifeguards. Number one answer. Do you guys want to play or pass? What do you guys want to do? I think we'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> the chief, chief says we're going to pass. So we're going to pass. Right? <laughs> play or pass? You're playing. All right, here we go. All right, Bruce. Think about what you're going to do if you're going to steal this one here. All right. All right. So, Barbara, mm -hmm. name an occupation whose members get wet while working. S uh, scuba divers. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Show us scuba divers. Number three answer. Nice. Nice. All right, Lorraine, so tell us, we asked 100 people, name an occupation whose members get wet while working. Firefighters. That's a good answer. It's a great answer. Good answer. What do you guys think? Is that a good answer over here? All right, that's good. All right, here we go. Show us firefighters. Number four answer. All right, here we go. Justin, name an occupation whose members get wet while working. How about a... Uh, Swimming instructor. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> one, of them's, one of them's got your back here. Show us a swimming instructor. Oh. All right, just, that's just one. That's okay. Oh. All right, Mayor Michelle, name an occupation whose members get wet while working. <laughs> um. <sighs> Can I call a friend? <laughs> Wrong hey, show. <laughs> I don't know if he's a friend right now. He's got that evil look there. I don't uh, fisherman. Good answer. Good answer. Show us a fisherman. Ooh, all right. Barbara, we got two X's on that board. We can only have one more. He's going to kick it over there. All right. I'm sure you have a genius answer for this. Name an occupation whose members get wet while working. Coast Guard Rescue. Good, good answer. answer. Good answer. <laughs> Show us Coast Guard Rescue. Oh, okay. I thought it was a good answer. Yeah. All right, coming over here, Bruce. We asked 100 people to name an occupation whose members get wet while working, and you guys had a little time here to cook this answer up, right? So you ready to do this? We're going, yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're going with sailors. Show us sailors. <laughs> that means over here, Smarty Artie Puppies wins the round. <laughs> Mayor Michelle De La Isla is coming over here. All right. Are you sure that answer was right? Like? Doesn't happen every day, folks. But I do know the mayor's going to come and see uh, Rick Thomas on November third with us here. So uh, thank you very much. Congratulations. Let's let's find out. 
And what the number six answer was? Oh, car wash oh, attendant. Oh, no one else to yeah. And uh, what about the number five answer? Construction oh. worker. All right. And that number two answer, what was it? A plumber. All right. Well, that's all the time we have on this episode of the Topeka Feud. Find more and all of our archives of this stuff on gablocal.tv and be sure to like the Talk About Topeka Facebook page for more of this great stuff coming to you from the Topeka Performing Arts Center. We'll see you next time. Witness the most breathtaking and mind-blowing grand illusions in the world. The magic of Rick Thomas. Rick Thomas is, without doubt, the greatest illusionist on tour today. See him live Saturday, November 3rd at the Topeka Performing Arts Center. Epic is the best word that describes the magic of Rick Thomas. Prepare for the ride of your life. Illusionist Rick Thomas. Live at the Topeka Performing Arts Center, Saturday, November 3rd. Buy your tickets now at the Topeka Box Office or online at topekaperformingarts.org.